Hello, this is Tim, and I'm here to tell you about BPAW's point of sale for thrift stores. If you've got one location or many locations, BPAWs can help you centrally manage all of your employees, your products, your inventory, all of your store locations, and not only does BPAWs allow for tracking all of your sales, but BPAWs will help you process your donations very easily and label all of your products. Let's take a look at BPAWs. The first screen that we look at here is the login screen and login screen decides your permissions and helps us track who it is that does the operation. In this case, I could log in using a number, I could use an employee card, I could use my fingerprint to log in, and I'll just use a number to get in the system. Now, what I've chosen to show here first is the donation processing system. So the donation processing system is how you get all of your inventory or how you label all your products. It could be used to add each and every shirt to inventory so that you know that you have 15 women's large shirts, or it could be just for making a label so that when you want to sell it, you could put a barcode on it. Now, you could do all of your sales without this process, but this really makes the donation side of accepting all of the goods in the back end of your operation much more simple. So let's take a look. So I have set up on the screen lots of different categories of all the products that you want to add. Now we can configure this a thousand different ways, whichever way you like in order for doing this. And in this case, I pick up the next item that I wanna put a label on or that I wanna put a hanging tag on. And I can pick, it's a men's shirt. So I say it's a men's shirt. And in this case, I'm presented with options that are configurable and definable for you. Long sleeve, short sleeve, sweatshirt, sweater, t-shirt, tank top, and every option that we have on here is configurable, but I'll pick a short sleeve. Now I have in here options for large, medium, or small. A lot of other operations might pick something like uh, good, better, or best, or some quality level. They might even have a brand that they wanna track. There could be all sorts of different ways to track this, but we'll do a medium shirt. And I press that. And that did two things. First thing that did, that easily, it added one shirt to inventory, if we wanna track inventory, and it printed a label, which I'll grab here that just came off the label printer. The label is completely configurable and programmable in the way that you want it to look. So at the top, it says the store name, I've got the what the kind of item is, and a barcode and a price. And we can help you program that, or you can program it yourself, on how you want that to be laid out. Now, there are typically, in most thrift stores, there are two kinds of items that you could have in your store. There are things like clothes, like a men's, a large men's shirt that is always the same price in your store. But there are a lot of times other items that you receive, electronics, uh, furniture, or other objects that you get that are really one-off and you don't get them consistently, and every time you get them, they're a different price and a different quality. Now, you could set them all up so that it's you have different price levels. So I could have tables at 25, 50, and 100. That's fine, but most places uniquely price for each one. So in this case, if I pick an item that's, let's say, furniture, the way that this is defined, it gives me 40 different kinds of furniture items. And uh, we will take a couch and what it presents for, if I want to, is an option to describe the item. Because in this case, it might be a red velvet couch, right? Nice old one. So I could type in the description on it. And so when this gets sold, a lot of times what happens in this place is you have somebody who might not be very scrupulous who comes in and takes the label off of a $25 couch and brings it over to the $150 couch and presents it with that and then you know says, well, this is the label that went with it. And in this case, you would know that's not a red velvet couch. You now have a brown leather couch and the description is right so that they don't use the wrong item. Now you could have just left it as couch one, couch two, couch three, and that's fine if you don't wanna use that description, but you can do it here. So I have a red velvet couch and then it prompts me for a price. Let's say this red velvet couch is $50 and it prints me out a unique barcode label 
for just that couch. So now my barcode label says red velvet couch and it says $50. And when I scan it, it will ring up that red velvet couch. Now we'll save these barcodes. And when we go to the look at the register, we'll ring up the red velvet couch and the shirt that we just made with using the barcodes for those products. So now we have switched out the screen to be a point of sale terminal where we're actually selling the products. As you can see, I have this laid out in exactly the same way. Now, it isn't necessary to lay it out the same way in your donation terminal and your point of sale terminal. However, it makes it very easy for a employee to transfer from one place to the other because the buttons are in exactly the same place in both locations. But we wanna sell one of those products that we just labeled. So I will bring up our medium men's shirt and I take out the label that we just printed off uh, on the label printer and we could ring up our red velvet couch that we rang up earlier. And I sold that red velvet couch for $50. Now I have a total here. It's $60.42 and I have fast tender keys down at the bottom so that you can enter in 10, 20, 50, $100 bills or I can just type in an amount. In this case, we'll type in an amount. We'll use a fast tender key maybe on the next transaction. So they gave me $70. Now my receipt printer prints and my cash drawer would open. Now, one interesting thing, on the touchscreen, if you use the touchscreen, it is possible to show the quantity that you have on hand of any single product. So we made that red velvet couch and I'm gonna go into my couches and you can see that I, the red velvet couch has been sold and I still have one left of a brown leather couch. And this could be every couch that I have in inventory at the time and whether it's available or has been sold. So I could then sell my brown leather couch without having the barcode if I wanted to and if you allow it. Okay, so I have a $250 couch and let's say the person gave me six $50 bills. I could just sit six and 50, that's $300, and my change is displaying and the transaction's over. So we've changed the screen again so that we can dem demonstrate color rotation. Many thrift stores want to rotate colors week by week, so as you proceed through different colors, your products get discounted more and more. Usually, most thrift stores we would deal with would have a rotation every four or five weeks the colors rotate. So in this case, we're working on a five rotation schedule and I've got five different colors on the screen. So you can see at the top, there are five different colors and the, the screens match the color and I have a no color option because those are items that don't rotate. We never reduce the price on there. They're all, always full thrift retail, okay? And in this case, if I ring up, if somebody comes up with a product, now they may bring up the product and I can just scan the barcode and it will ring up the correct price no matter what and the discounted price will apply. So let's say a clothing is 50% off. If I bring up a shirt, it will automatically be 50% off this week. But let's say you don't want to use barcodes. So we'll ring up some products here. So if I go to the yellow category and ring up a product, if I ring up a women's shirt, it automatically would normally be a dollar, but it's 50 cents off this week. Um, and then if I ring up an item of jewelry and it was $2, it automatically rang at $2 at the correct price because of the schedule we have this week. Jewelry's always regular price. Blouses for women that are yellow are 50% off. And we could continue that process in many thrift stores on the fifth week, it might be 75 or 90% off, and then those might get ragged out at the end, depending on how you like to do it. So that's it for our short presentation of Vipaz Point of Sale for thrift stores. Of course, there's way more features than we could possibly cover in this short presentation. If you have questions or you'd like to talk to us, please give us a call today and we'll be happy to answer all your questions.